Hello, today we are going to extract file attachments in bulk from EML email files. I'm using EML Viewer Pro, also known as PST Viewer Pro. You can find more information about this product at, at uh, emlviewer.net and download a free trial if you'd like. So what I've done is I've selected a folder that has um, uh, hundreds of, of uh, email files in them, uh, .eml files. And what I'm going to do to select all of these emails for processing, I'm just going to do uh, Control A, and that that uh, will select all of my messages. Now I go up to the uh, export profile, and there are several different options here. You can export emails to PDF or HTML or uh, GIF, TIFF, comma separated values files. Uh, there's lots of different options for for exporting. Uh, the uh, email, the EML files that I've selected. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to select the only attachments export profile. Now this will extract only the file attachments if one exists within the email and save it to a folder. And sometimes it's just convenient if I want to extract lots of, um, uh, you know, if I want to get access, quick access to files that um, are embedded within my EML files. Um, I can extract my Word documents and put them in a folder, and then I can later go in and, and edit those files. So I'm going to select Only Attachments, and then click the Export button. And Email Viewer Pro will ask me where I want to store these files. And I'll select this folder that I've created called Attachments. This is on my desktop. I click OK, and it goes ahead and exports all of the file attachments. All right, let's go take a look at the folder. All right, this is my attachments folder, and um, it has saved all of the file attachments into subfolders that have the same name as the as the sender. I can tweak some of that, some of those settings within the export profile. I can uh, change the names of these folders, for example. And there's some other settings, but this is this is how it works uh, right out of the box. So all of the uh, attachments that were associated with those emails now have been copied to a folder and are accessible to me outside of the uh, EML files. So that's how you do it. You can download a free trial of EML Viewer Pro at emlviewer.net. Thanks for watching.